Buoy Health Insights, Swelling on One Side of the Butt. Welcome to Buoy Health Insights, where we delve into the different health topics that matter to you. Our focus today is on a concern that might not be commonly discussed but could be quite bothersome, swelling on one side of the butt. If you're experiencing swelling in one part of your buttocks, it could be pointing to one of several underlying conditions. This type of swelling can be indicative of a variety of issues, ranging from those that can be self-treated to ones that require immediate medical attention. Let's look into some possible causes and what accompanying symptoms might be indicative of these causes. A common reason for swelling in the buttock region is a tailbone bruise. This could be due to an injury or simply the location of the bruise. This kind of bruise causes the blood vessels that carry blood back to the heart to be damaged, leading to a pooling of blood that can appear as a blue or purple discoloration on the skin. The symptoms that always occur with a tailbone bruise include tailbone pain from an injury, injury to the tailbone itself, and constant butt pain. Cellulitis, a bacterial infection of the deep layers of skin, presents with symptoms that can include fever, chills, redness, swelling, and pain. This kind of infection, if not treated appropriately, can become severe and may lead to an abscess, which is a localized area of puce that often requires surgical drainage. It's essential to seek medical care since more serious conditions like blood poisoning or meningitis could develop from cellulitis. Another possible cause is coccidinia, which is a pain in the area of the tailbone. Coccidinia is often triggered by pressure on the tailbone, such as sitting on a hard chair and tends to improve with standing or walking. While the exact cause of this condition is not always clear, you can safely treat it with over-the-counter pain medication and by alleviating pressure off the tailbone, like sitting on a soft cushion. If you're presented with a large, red, swollen, painful lump of pus under the skin, it might be a skin abscess. This occurs when bacteria enter the skin through a small cut or scratch and begin to multiply. Some abscesses need to be drained by a medical provider and antibiotics are often prescribed to clear the infection. A bruised buttock can result from direct injuries and generally manifests as constant butt pain, particularly when pressured by an injury. Treatment for a bruised buttock includes rest and ice, and it's generally a condition you can manage at home unless complications arise. Pain and stiffness in the back and hips can be a sign of ankylosing spondylitis, a more chronic condition where inflammation has damaged the vertebrae in the lower back, causing the spine to become inflexible. Diagnosed usually through physical examination and x-rays, early treatment for this condition can help manage symptoms and prevent further complications. Lastly, an anal fissure, which is a small tear in the lining of the anus, can cause swelling on one side of the buttock. It's often brought on by passing large, hard stools due to constipation, but other causes might be trauma or certain diseases. Pain and bleeding during and after bowel movements and a tear in the anal tissue are all signs of an anal fissure. Treatment often involves dietary changes and medicated creams or suppositories. Now, when should you consider seeking medical care? Conditions like cellulitis, which can show more progressively severe symptoms, should be treated by a primary care doctor due to the risk of serious conditions developing from the infection. However, for minor bruises or tailbone pain that doesn't improve on its own, it's advisable to consult a healthcare provider to rule out more serious conditions. It's crucial to listen to your body and monitor your symptoms. If you notice new or worsening signs, especially those associated with severe infections like cellulitis, do not hesitate to seek professional advice. Before we wrap up, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more health insights that can help you navigate through your wellness journey. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Stay healthy and see you next time on Buoy Health Insights.